Hi guys, in this video we are going to be painting the bunny butt. So get your canvas out. Um, you're also going to need a jar of water just to keep your brushes in and to wash your brushes out. Um, I have three different size brushes, a big one, a medium one, and a small one. Um, between brushes, like when you're switching out to use a different sized one and say you've got paint all over one, you're just gonna put your dirty brush right in the jar. That way it doesn't lay out and get all dried up and crusty. Um, you're also gonna need a towel just to dry your clean brushes off on. So have that ready also. And of course we need our paint. So I've got mine all dished out right onto my plate. You can leave yours right in your cups if you want and just scoop out what you need as you need it. Just make sure when you're getting paint out of your little cups, you're scooping out with a clean brush. You don't wanna scoop out your black and then with that dirty brush, scoop right into your white because then your whole little tub of white is ruined. Right, so first step, I'm gonna use my bigger brush because I'm going to be filling in this whole background. Um, we're gonna be making a very, very, very light blue and it's just the tiniest little bit of blue. It's a very strong color and you're gonna mix it in with a lot of white. You see how much that tiny bit of blue, how much light blue that made? Just add, just get a tiny bit at a time and stir in. So I wanna make sure I have enough to do my whole background. Mine is bigger than yours. So I need more paint. You probably need about half as much. So I'm gonna go in with this very light blue color and just fill in all around what's sketched on. So nice thin paint. You don't want globs, you just wanna get it spread out nice and thin. I'm gonna be careful around my edges. And you can always add a little white in while you're working on your dirty brush, just up to the, in the side of your white pile because you don't want to ruin your whole white pile with the blue on your brush. You can just, so I'll show you, you can just take a little bit of the white and just brush that into. And I just go back and forth with nice long strokes and just get it spread out. And I'm just gonna go all over around this little flower pot. It's very important that your light blue color is very light for this because we're also gonna be painting the pot blue and you want it to be a different shade of blue than the background. It will be a darker blue. So if your background is already a darker blue, you're gonna have a hard time getting that pot to show up. I mean, we are gonna add some grass and things in, which will be helpful, but we just want this background nice and light. All right, so I have that filled in. It's a nice, thin, even coat. Just brushing out any globs that I might have. Get around here a little bit. So there, there's my whole background color. So while that's drying, 
I'm gonna clean out my brush and I'm going to paint my little pot. And we're gonna be using a blue color again, but this time it's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use my a little bit smaller of a brush just because it's not as big of an area as the background. And in my light blue color that I made, I'm just gonna stir in more blue. So as you can see, this is a lot darker than what I had previously. You can see the light, light blue there, and this is what I'm using now. And I'm just gonna get this all brushed in. I'm gonna do the bottom of my pot first. So there's this lip of the pot, just do the bottom part. Just careful around my edges. I slapped a little there. It's all right. I'll put some grass there later and cover that up. Don't worry, that's a little streaky. I'm going to go back in once I get all this blue on there. And add a little bit of white to kind of smooth it out. So I'm not that particular on how... My brush strokes are looking right now. So there, I've got my pot filled in. With my dirty brush, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white and go right on top and just spread nice long strokes. And I have a little bit of a curve to my stroke and a kind of the same curve shape as the bottom of the pot. And I'm just going all the way across as best I can in one swoop. I might even add a little bit more white. So I've got that all smoothed out. I'm gonna do the same on the top of my pot. This time I'm gonna just be real loose. I'm gonna just roughly brush in just a little bit of my blue color. Now I want my brush nice and clean because I want that top part to be a little bit lighter than my bottom part. So just loosely brushed in a little bit of your blue color. And then I'm gonna go in with just some white paint on my clean brush and go right over top and blend it right out. And you do need to do this fairly quickly because by the time I get over there, that's going to be a little bit dry and it's not going to want to blend as well. So I'm going to get over there as quick as I can. If you want to just work piece by piece, that might be better. It just depends on how fast you can paint, really. Just a little bit more white on my brush. So now I have the top of my pot done and the bottom of my pot done. Got a little spot right there, gotta get right. So I'm gonna let that dry a little and I'm going to work on my bunny. And first I'm gonna do his little butt and I'm gonna make a nice light gray. I'm going to clean out my brush and to make light gray, I'm going to take a nice big scoop of white and then just a little bit of black and I'll stir that in. And this is my bunny butt. So go ahead and just paint in around the tail, around those little feet. And then on the edge over here, where it's against the background, 
we're gonna make it a little bit fluffy. So I'm gonna get this filled in quick and then I'll show you how to make it fluffy. Just with the side of my brush, I'm just gonna flick out just so he's a little bit fluffy on the sides. And I'll do the same over here. I'm just kind of flicking out with the side of my brush just so you can see like little fuzz. And then just fill in all around the rest. If you're seeing like areas on mine that are a little bit darker, that's just because when I mixed my gray, I didn't stir in that well. So I've got some darker spots. And I just kind of push them around so they blend in and don't stand out that much. So there's his little butt, all filled in. And I'm gonna do his feet next. So with that little bit of gray on my brush, I'm just gonna take a nice big scoop of white again, over here where I've got lots of room. I'll just stir what was on my brush in with more white. So it's a lot lighter gray. If you can see the difference, it's much lighter. And this is the color I'm gonna do his little feet. So it almost looks white, it's so light. And his tail will be the same color. So I'm gonna fill it all in. And then I'm also gonna make this fluffy around the outside edges. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did on his little butt. Take a little bit of my color and I'm just gonna fluff it out on the edges. I'm gonna overlap right onto the dark gray. And up onto my background. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. and I'm gonna go back to the flower pot. So on my flower pot, I just wanna put a little bit of a white highlight. So just with a little bit of white paint, I just got a clean spot out of there to put over here. I'm just gonna put like a little highlight across the top and a little bit down here on the side of my pot and here. this down just a little and if you get too much on there that you don't like it just take a little bit more of that blue color and you can just put it right on and it'll tone it down I mean I want a little bit more on there I was just showing you okay so we're going to next do little bunny toes and we're going to make a very, very light pink. And to make very light pink, you need just a tiny bit of what, or red, just a tiny bit of red in with white. And I'll show you. So just this tiny little bit of red. And we're going to stir it in with a lot of white. 
And this we're gonna be using when we do tulips also. So if you wanna make a bit bigger of a pile, that would be good. That way you don't have to mix it again. But if you have to mix it again, that's fine. Just remember, it's a little bit of red with quite a bit of white. And I'm just going to take this color and add little toes. So he's going to have three toes. I'll do the middle one. I'm going to use a smaller brush. This one's a little too big. Got his little middle toe. I'll add this little third toe. Second toe. Silly me. And then the third toe on the other side. So this middle one is a little bit bigger. And then the one side toes are a little smaller. So my big middle toe and my smaller side toes. Now I'm gonna go in and do a bunch of grass because he's sitting in the yard. We need to make green. I'm gonna use my medium sized brush to make this green. And we're gonna make a pretty good sized pile of it. So it's going to be a little bit of blue. That might even be too much. I'm gonna start with less. A little bit of blue with a bunch of yellow. See how much more yellow that is? Oh, there's a big old pile. Okay, so I have, we're gonna need a lot of this. So make a good sized pile. And I'm gonna add white to it. So a good scoop of white, stir that in also. And this is really nice, bright, limey green. If you want your green to be a little bit darker, just add a little bit more blue. Or I'll show you. Because mine could probably be a little bit more green. It's very yellowy. So just a tiny bit of blue. See how much different just that little bit makes it. A little bit more. There. I like that. So I've got this nice grassy green color and I've got a lot of it. I mean, you can go do about half as much. I got a bigger canvas. So I'm gonna just roll the excess off on my plate and just somewhere you've got a clean spot. I'm gonna switch to my bigger brush. And I'm going to go in and put a bunch of grass. So just putting my big brush in. And then I'm just going to kind of, on the side of my plate, just kind of flatten it. That way I have like this nice narrow edge to my brush because I'm going to be using it up and down like this. I don't want wide lines. I want narrow lines. And I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and just fill in the bottom portion. I'm gonna go right up to the pot to maybe about an inch or so, half inch up the side. I'm gonna try to keep it straight. And I'm just gonna just get that filled in Got my grassy ground and I'm going to be going up the sides and adding long pieces. So like I said before, flatten your brush out and I'm going to just go straight up the sides and I'm going to go right onto my flower pot. Coming right down up and on my flower pot. I can still see it through, that's okay. We're gonna layer on top and then just nice long grass. I'm 
also going to be making some stems around the edges of the bunny to add like some flowers to it. So coming out the side, I'm just gonna kind of flick up a few spots. Some, some leaves. Maybe this one will make that a little bit wider. Kind of so that's a leaf. If you want to be using a smaller brush for this, that's fine. Sometimes it's easier to control what you're doing. I'll make that a leaf. It's like a big like tulip leaf. And then I'm gonna make places where I'm gonna actually put tulips in. So how about that'll be a tulip, this'll be a tulip. Maybe this can be a tulip, maybe one there. Just wherever you kinda wanna put a tulip. Make sure you're putting in stems. Stems and leaves. Fatter ones are leaves, the thinner ones are more tulipy. So I've got my leaves all in, got my grass in, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of white to this color. So this color, I'm gonna add more white to just a little area of it. So it's nice and light. And right on top, I'm kind of squishing out my brush so it's nice and narrow. And right on top of what I've already painted down here, I'm just adding in more strands of grass. So you just wanna make sure your yellow, or your yellow, your green is much lighter so that it shows up. And just a nice good scoop of white should do that for you. And I'm all the way down in here. Oops, I got a little bit of pink on my brush. It's all right. And maybe a little bit on some of these, just to give them a little variation. And we've got our grass and our leaves and stems. So for the tulips, I'm gonna use my medium, smaller brush. Use my light pink. And for my tulips, I'm gonna put one here. It's just like a smile shape or the letter U. And then I'm gonna kind of connect it at the top. So it's like a circle here and maybe a triangle-ish kind of shape on top. I'll put another one in here. So I've got this kind of U shape. Kind of make, or we can even just make it a circle. And then off the top, create more of a point. And I'll have this one over here. This one's just gonna go right off the side of my canvas. Maybe one down in here. I've got my circle shape and then make a point at the top. And it's kind of a rounded point. It's not like sharp. And how about one more? Let's stick one more over here. So my circle and then kind of point it at the top. So now I have say one, two, three, four, five tulips. And you could do more if you wanted, like if I, I feel like I want one maybe right there. So I'll just go back in and make a stem for it. I'll use my green color. I have this little bit darker green that I, yeah, my greenish color. And I want one maybe that comes right here so that my tulip is right there.
me in my pink again. And I'll put my circle and then kind of bring it to a point. There. I've got enough on there, I think. If you need want more, do what you want. It's yours. You can have lots of tulips. You could even make daisies instead. It's up to you. Whatever kind of flowers you want. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of dark pink to my tulips. I'm just going to take a little dab of red on my brush and stir in with my light pink. And um, let's see, the right hand side of each one, I'm just going to put a little swoop. And you can just kind of brush it back and forth a little just to get it to blend a smidge because mine are still a little bit wet. If yours are all the way dry and you want them to blend, just take a little bit of your light pink color. And you can put it right on top and blend it. So I have my tulips. And now we just have a little bit more to do. I'm going to take just some white. I don't have really any clean spot of white. Right there is clean. Oops, I got a little green there. So I've got this clean spot of white. And I'm just going to kind of fluff on. Oops, I got green in it. I'm just going to go back to the tail and just kind of fluff all the way around just with some white. It just kind of helps his tail out a little. And I'll add a little bit of white to his feet. I'm also going to take just some plain white. And I'm going to streak it through a little bit of my leaves and my stems, just a little. And also on my tulips. Now instead of the right hand side, I'm gonna do the left. So the opposite side that I did the dark pink. And just a little brush of white. I'm gonna continue using white down in my grass and just add, it's easier if you go bottom up, bottom up. And I'm just gonna streak a little bit of the white down in my grass. Layer on top of everything else. These long ones down here. And I think I'm good. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and maybe put little flowers down here, feel free. Let me see what that looks like. I'll show you. I'll experiment. I need clean white though. My white is yellow. I need a little spot of some clean white. And I'm just gonna do like little tiny, if I can it to come out of my bottle here. There we go. And I'm just gonna do itty bitty little flowers. And I'll use my little brush. And just my white paint. And maybe just do like these tiny little, oh, that's cute. So they're kind of like little asterisk shapes. So you can do plus sign, X mark, or just pretend like you're just doing five little petals. And I'm just going through, putting these randomly throughout. You don't even need to do this part if you don't want to. It just adds a little more interest to your grass area. They're cute, I like them. 
not just all over. So it's just, I'm just doing pedal, 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 pedal. They kind of look like little stars. And I'll just fill in all over. This is cute and springy. So my green isn't all the way dry. It's just kind of blending in, but it's, it's working. And you could put in more. I have something weird colored right there. I'll add one there. You could put in way more or way less. One up here. And I am finished. I'm gonna, let's see. Maybe I'm gonna, I think he needs some like actual furs on his butt. So I'll just take some white on my little brush and I'm just gonna go in and just put in some little furs. Yeah, not too many. Maybe just a little bit of dark gray, a little dark gray. So there's my gray. Add a little bit more black to it. And this I'm just gonna kind of outline around the feet because they're kind of getting lost on the edge. So this little bit of darker gray, it's not super dark, just a little bit darker. I just add a little, little bit more black into my light gray. And maybe just kind of sketch around the outside edge of the feet here. Maybe a little where he's kind of going into the pot. And maybe just add a few little furs on the edge. Maybe in his tail too. On his little toes, I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker pink color that we added to the two lips. And just, um, let's go with the the right hand side, I'm just gonna put a little swoop on the side of each of those little toes. That just helps them stand out better. There. Now I think she's complete and I am going to sign my name. I like to do it down here. And I want it to show up but not be like really bold. So I'll use my green color that I use, but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker and I'll just add a little bit more blue to it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just dip my brush in my water and stir that water in. And this just gives the paint a little bit better flow and then I can get the name done in one swoop. I'm gonna glob right on the end. And I'll just sign my name right there. And now I am done. When you guys finish, if you would please take pictures of your finished work and post to Willie Nelly's Facebook page. There is a pinned post right at the top. When you go there, you should be able to find it easier that way. Um, everybody else's paintings are there. You can check those out, that's fun. I love seeing them. So please, if you don't mind, just take a minute, take a photo and then upload right on there. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.